Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I will teach you how to make a power boosting circuit so that we can run power tools with a really small battery. So guys for making this circuit I have used 4 capacitors, 3 of which are rated at 450 volts DC at 3300 microfarad and the blue one is at 1400 microfarad rated at 450 volts DC.
So guys, this is a 12 volts to 250 volts DC to DC converter. Although the output voltage is unregulated and is directly proportional to the input voltage and can reach beyond a thousand volts. So guys, I'm using a 12 volts mini battery pack that will drive the 12 volts DC to DC converter. The capacitor bank has been connected in parallel. The maximum energy dissipation capability of this capacitor bank is 1.15 kilojoules and its maximum power dissipation capability is 1 kilowatt. Irrespective of the fact that the bank is connected in series or parallel, note that less number of capacitors means fast charging but it also means fast discharging. So guys, now I'm going to use a multimeter to check the output voltage of the converter after I connect the 12 volts battery pack. As you can see guys, the output voltage of the converter is around 450 volts and will increase with the increase in DC input voltage. So guys, now I'm going to use a series lamp tester circuit to safely charge this capacitor bank and to prevent the output discharge as a short circuit for the converter. Also guys, if you want to learn how to make a series lamp tester circuit, you will find its link in the description. So guys, now I am going to connect a 3-pin socket so that I can connect power tools to it. First, I am going to show you if my drill machine works by directly connecting it to the converter box. And after that, I am going to charge the capacitor bank with a 100 watt bulb in series so that I can test my drill machine after I have connected the capacitor bank. So guys as you can see that the drill machine is not working when connected directly to the converter box without the capacitor bank and the overload indicator light is glowing. So guys now I am going to test it with the capacitor bank connected in the circuit. <laughs> 